Hey you guys, it's Voluptuous and Skinny. I'm here with another update on my weight loss journey. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on September 15th, excuse me, September 16th, 2015, and ended up getting rid of 225 pounds. Gained 110 back over the course of 2020 to 2023. In January of 2023, just this year, I decided enough was enough and went back to the bariatric basics, joined the couch to 5K, and started eating less. And now I am down, I think like a hundred and, mm, let's see. 122 pounds of that weight. So I lost what I gained plus some. My current weight is 147.2 and that is down 3.8 pounds since last week. Yeah. And y'all know that I updated you on my surgery last week or my uh, surgery that I'm about to have and said that I wanted to maintain where I was, which was about 151. So yeah, still going down. And then I wanted to mention last week, I don't know if any of you remember in one video that those last 20 pounds that I originally had to get rid of, I had started taking now Traxone and Topiramate. I'm no longer taking those. I haven't been taking those for about the last two, two, about two or three weeks. So that hasn't been the issue. I'm just still getting rid of weight. So I'm increasing what I'm eating. In fact, the last few days, we went to a Christmas party and I am not gonna lie, I took advantage of it by eating cookies, candy, yeah. So I did track all of it, every bit. So if some of you saw my food log, <laughs> you know that it looks a mess right now. <laughs> so anyway, I am not the one to fall into that trap again of cookies and candy. Work too hard for that. But I also don't want to get rid of any more weight, especially before the surgery because I'll be eating fluids or drinking fluids initially. And then on a soft food diet for about two or three weeks, possibly longer. And I know that that is going to cause me to go down in weight. And I don't wanna look like a skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Corey tells me there's nothing I can do to control that, that I need to just let whatever's gonna happen, happen, and then just keep eating well up until surgery. And then um, afterwards, I know that even if I do get rid of some weight, as soon as I start eating, regular foods, that that weight will come back. So I think that's wise advice. I think I'm gonna take his advice <laughs> and uh, just go with that because there's no need of me worrying about it, which is the one thing that has been on my mind. Even when I originally thought 
that I would have the gastric bypass. That kind of, it didn't worry me a lot because I know other people who have left comments who have had the gastric bypass for acid reflux and they seem to be doing just fine and seem to be at a normal weight. So, yeah, I'm just gonna stop worrying about it and just go with the flow. Because what I don't wanna get in the habit of is eating junk and eating bad. But I did take advantage of that from the Christmas party. <laughs> to eat some cookies and some some uh, candy. So that's my confession for the day. <laughs> so today I am walking on the treadmill. I'm walking at a speed of three and an incline of nine. And the speed isn't so bad. The incline does make me work a little longer, a little more. So, it's my watch going off. Um, trying to think of anything else that I need to talk about. I would love to do some clothing hauls of what I'm getting from the bin store. Cause I get so excited about some of the things that I've gotten from the store, or even just some try-ons. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah. I'm in a size small shirt, and as far as pants are concerned, I think it just depends on where they come from. Old Navy. I had on a pair of my older pants the other day that were size four and they were falling off. But then I had on a pair of pants from Goodwill that were size eight. They were a little loose, but for the most part they fit. Um, as far as waist sizes are concerned, I wear anywhere between a 26 and a 28 is what I fit in comfortably and bra size, my bra size has gone way down from like a D cup to a B cup <laughs> depending on the size I get, a uh, size bra I get or the waistband rather. So most of the waistbands are either 34 or 36B or I may even go down and up to a 32C, which I fit comfortably and the cups fit. Cause typically if you go, say for instance, you're 34B you can typically fit 36A or 32C if you're in a 34B. That's kind of how I operate with bra sizes. So that's where I am with that. And my shoe size has not gone down. I'm still a big foot. I wear 10s and 11s. Most of the time 11s. I still have some shoes that are 10s that fit just fine, but I mostly get 11s. Sometimes I'll even get an 11 and a half if they don't have a shoe in my size, uh, 11. I won't go down to a nine and a half, but I'll go up <laughs> just so that my feet can stay comfortable. I don't want anything rubbing or hurting that's gonna prevent me from running or walking when I need to. I'm still running four days a week. Last week, 
I only ran three days. I ran on Monday, Tuesday, and then on Saturday. Saturday, I did 10 miles. This coming Saturday, I think I wanna do 15 because after this Saturday, and then come next week, after Thursday, I won't be able to run for a little while. So, I'm trying to get all my training in so I can be ready to roll once I'm healed up and everything. All right, I think that's about it. I just wanted to give y'all an update on where I was, where I am now, and what I've been doing. So, that is about it. Oh yeah, I remember medical school. Somebody had asked about medical school, and I don't know if y'all will make it this far in the video or not, because it's already over 10 minutes. But, medical school. I was doing very well in medical school making A's and B's. In fact, <laughs> there was one time I emailed my instructor and asked him what I had missed on the quiz because I assumed that the quiz was curved and I had made a 100. And he just told me, he says, no, you made a 100. There was no curve on this quiz. <laughs> So, that was pretty cool. Anyway, was doing well, but then I took a medical leave of absence because of my depression. And during that year, I started working back in education, which is what I always did before. I worked in education for probably 15 years and absolutely loved it. Loved working with the children and just being a mentor and a positive influence in their lives. And so one of my friends who is the principal of the school asked me to come and work for her for that year. So I worked for her for that year and kind of getting my feet wet. Wasn't sure, real sure about the position. I was reading interventionist and wasn't real sure about the, the position, but really loved the kids. So the following year, I decided I was gonna see if they'd give me another year leave, which they didn't. So, and my position also changed to a behavior interventionist. Well, that is where I fell in love. <laughs> I love to be a behavior interventionist. It's kind of a slash counselor type position. And we deal with all kinds of behaviors, all kinds of opportunities to provide emotional support. And the kids, have, I, I truly feel like I'm making a difference in these kids' lives. Um, years ago, when I was growing up, my daddy always wanted me to be a teacher, but I wanted to be a doctor. Um, he felt like, and my great grandmother also wanted me to be a teacher. And I just felt like God was not necessarily calling me for something else, but had placed in my heart that I wanted to be a doctor. So that is why I pursued medical school so heavily. But now that I'm back in education, I see what my daddy and my great grandmother are talking about, or were talking about. I feel like I have made a bigger impact in this realm. I also feel like I've gotten myself back because I was just losing myself 
losing who I was, not happy. And I never thought that that would be the case, but it was. So I just decided not to go back and not even to pursue it again. I don't regret it. Um, in fact, I look back now over the last couple of years and they have been some of the happiest years just coming back into my own, coming back into an area that I had worked in and was passionate about then and found I'm just as passionate about now. And that's helping children achieve. It's such a good field that, it's such a field that you, people really need to have good mentors and good teachers in these children's lives because they're falling so far behind. Even with COVID and the kids not being at school for those year and a half, two years, it just decimated this whole gap. The gap was already big, but now it's just that much larger. And it's taken a lot to try and help these kids achieve. So I'm there providing the emotional support they need while the other teachers are providing them the academic support they need. I also, my official title this year was academic engagement teacher, which is the same exact thing as the behavior interventionist pretty much, except now I take part in student success meetings where we talk about their academics and what is preventing a student from being successful. And then I help formulate um, interventions and recommendations around how to speak to parents and how to help these kids perform better. So that is where I am. And that's all I have for this morning. So I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a wonderful day. Continue to lose. I'm so excited when I hear the testimonies of individuals who are getting rid of their regain. And I wish that I could find the, I wish I had the name of the person who emailed or commented saying that they had gotten rid of all 30 pounds of their regain. I don't have that name, but hopefully I'll remember to have it next time. But congratulations. <laughs> I was so excited to hear that. I'd love to hear more of your testimonies. So I will talk to y'all later. Keep praying for me and I'll keep praying for you. Peace out, babies. Mwah.